I sound fucked up. DJ here and... Johnny. Back at you with the bass edition of DJ's Brew Tube. <sighs> bass edition? Yeah, because that's all I got left. Ah, is bass. Bass. Mm-hmm. And I do have one thing left for you, though. I got a big old beer for you tonight. What big old beer is it? Well, we're going to start off 2015 with Dogfish Head. Yes. Worldwide stout from Milton, Delaware. Russian Imperial Stout rotating. And it's 2007. That's right. And we got this from our good buddies at Fish Balls, who opened up a new growler station, and they brought the big heat, literally, because this is an 18% beer, to the grand opening of the growler station. And I was there to snatch up on said beer. Now, Johnny would tell you more particulars about the beer, but what else do we know, Johnny? Oh, well, only two things I can get you <laughs> is it's 18% ABV, 70 IBUs, and that's probably fresh. Wow. It's got a head. Isn't that impressive for an 18% beer? Seven years. Seven year old, 18% beer with a whole finger ahead on it. Woohoo! Got it like that. Now, many of you have had Dogfish Head Worldwide Stout, but I doubt you've had a seven-year-old vintage of it. As you know, this beer is very hot when it's fresh. It's boozy as can be, and they suggest to cellar it. They said a cellar with the best of them, blah, blah, blah. Well, <clears throat> this is going to be a little bit different because it was cellared in a keg. So that's basically the optimum, you know, cellaring condition in a big sixtal. So... Let's see what the appearance is. I wonder if it's totally black. Yes. There is no light passing through. No. Johnny ain't even looking. I'm oh, looking. I looked already. <laughs> We're down to a half finger ahead, but for an 18% plus beer, because they say 18 to 20% or 15 to 20, something like that. But from what I've read, this vintage was an 18 percenter. But look at that beer. Pitch black. Still got a head on it. Nice khaki dark bubbles. Tightly packed when you swirl it. Instant glass lacing and tons of coating on the inside of glass. Wow. So, time to get a nose on it. He's already doing it. Yeah, it's an incredible nose. Damn. Big, dark fruits. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. Wow. It's just smell like... Oh, wow. Like this is a whole bunch of caramel. I'm getting a lot of, like, raisin and cherry, too, off of it. That's because you blew out your nose with those tissues. Yeah, my science is clear now, so. Damn. And you know what? There's no boo smell. I'm not getting any, like, alcohol waft off the top of this at all. Which, when I had it at the growler station, when I tasted it, it there was a little bit of, like, booze aroma, but they had just, literally just tapped the keg. I don't know. I, I get a little bit of booziness. I'm getting so much sweet, it's hard to... You just snort it? No. <laughs> That's my job to be coughing. A little, <clears throat> a little too much. Anyways, I'm ready to dive in. How about you? Me too. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And we can call this what beer review what? Should we call it for 700? Yeah, we could. Yeah. Maybe I'll post it for 700. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll forget and I'll just post it whenever I feel like. Pretty much. <laughs> Cheers. That's big. Wow. Mm. Big. Candy. It's like candy. Big. I'm getting bourbon. Yep. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like when you get one of those candies that's filled with liquor, mm -hmm. and you chomp into one of those bad boys. You know this is an 18 percent or going down, because I'm it's getting warm. plenty of heat. I mean, any mucus I had down my esophagus is getting burnt out right yeah. about now. <clears throat> I actually feel my voice clearing up. It's <clears throat> wow, big, sweet candy, chocolate, mm -hmm. toffee. Well, more caramel than toffee. Yep. I'm getting a good amount of dark fruits and coffee also. Wow. These really big cellared beers, this and like the Nognau Dark Horizon... It's really hard to describe everything in them because there's a lot of complexity, even though it's not barrel aged. Ah, Happy damn. New Year. Busting off the first one of the new year. 
Um, but even though they're not barrel aged, they take on a lot of those characteristics you get out of a barrel. I'm getting char, getting a little some mild vanilla notes, but mainly, excuse me, it's big chocolate. And it's got really good viscosity for a seven-year-old beer. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. There's a taste. I'm just trying to find out what it is. Yes. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's all about the chocolate flavor I'm getting off of this. And some fruits. And then after that, it's like this bourbon note. And like I said, it's like, it's like a bourbon-filled dark chocolate like candy. Bonbon. Cherry, mm -hmm. filled liqueur, wrapped in chocolate, very much. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is more of a liqueur than it is a beer. Mm -hmm. I mean, at 18%, it's no joke. You don't you don't handle one of these and go for a drive. Well, yeah. you may, but you probably won't make it back. Oh, by the way, the growler here was supplied to us by our good friend, Average Joe, who had sent another awesome beer in this one. I don't even know if I've posted that review yet. Yeah. I'll get to it eventually. But that beer was cool in here, too, so I figured I'd put another awesome beer into said growler. <clears throat> wow. What else does this taste like? It's... There's something I'm trying to grasp for. I'm grasping for my sanity mm. most mm. times, but I guess that's another personal problem, isn't it? Look at how the head regenerates on that beer, though. For an 18 percenter when you swirl it. And it's not super carbonated when you drink it no. at all. Got a nice, like, like medium full mouth feel. Yeah. It's not super thick or viscous. I imagine Paul would call this thin. That's yeah. bear news. Bear news. Um. You have too much of this, should be bear news. <laughs> <laughs> well, for what it is, it drinks super smooth. For a big, big ass beer, <clears throat> there is some alcohol taste in there, in the back end. This is probably about, I'd say, like 52 degrees or something right now that we're drinking it. <clears throat> and in the back end is where you're getting that, like, like boozy kick. But it's like chocolate mixed with booze. That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling. Maybe it's like, like Kahlua-like in some ways. Like chocolate Kahlua? What are they aging these in? What? They don't age it. They, this was, oh, this was, no, that's the thing. That's. Yeah, I'm thinking bourbon barrel. I, I mean, it, it's almost uh, like a whiskey. There's a, a whiskey yeah. taste. You know, uh, I don't want to say Jack Daniels, but, you know, it's a, it's a whiskey. You get the oakiness pulling out. It's not a scotch. It's not a bourbon. It's definitely a whiskey. Just it's like like mead made yeah. from malt. <laughs> That's how I mean, because really meads around the same strength, right? 18, 20 percent when they fully fermented out, and this they fully fermented out out of malt. And I would imagine that the wort that's produced when they when they ferment this thing has got to be like freaking honey thickness. I wonder if they use a champagne yeast because I, I sense a little dryness on the back end. Yeah. One is an older beer too, so older beers are dry on the drier on the back end. Hell, on it. Uh, I mean, it, and when you're at 18 percent, you got to be a little dry. Of course, that Nogue uh, that wasn't really dry on the back end. That was a seven-year-old beer yeah. too. But all in all, I'm amazed by the drinkability of this beer because me, I don't really like worldwide stout that much fresh because it's so boozy mm -hmm. and it just burns your mouth all the way up front to back. But this, cellared like this out of a keg for seven years, I mean, it's smooth as freaking glass. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty incredible. You have to say that. So, what do we grade a beer like this? Well, our friends over at Rate Beer, you know, considering it's 18%. Yes. They're you, giving it a three-digit score. You guys already know the grade. You don't even have to hear us say 100. Yeah. <laughs> the dudes over at Beer Advocate, they give it a 94. Yep. Now, these are probably fresh or cumulative, cumulative. grades. Um, mm. For a beer to have this much taste complexity, you know, mm. over this time. Wow. 
you know, the, the first number it came in, it, it's hard. I don't know. For me, it's hard to give it a hundred. Yeah. But it deserves it. But I think, you know, I have to be fair. Give it a ninety-eight. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just it's a great beer. I mean. Yep. I don't know. I, I can't give it a hundred, but I, I think a ninety-eight is. It needs a a touch more sweetness, in the flavor for me, just to round off that booze in the back end. Yeah. And that's that's the only thing it's missing. I don't know if more time in the cellar. I mean, hell, seven years is freaking seven years. But I'm gonna give it the same grade. I was thinking ninety eight myself. It's a life sentence for. Uh, beer. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna give it a 98. It's an A plus beer. I mean, it's cellared awesome, and I'm feeling really fortunate to get this on a growler. Now, now, let, could you know you say aging it on the keg is premium, but mm-hmm. do you think maybe that would have had something to do with it? Well, I've read reviews of gigantic verticals of this beer, like 10 year verticals, and. The description and the experience that I'm having of this beer is totally different. They said it was like syrupy and stuff, and this isn't syrupy at all. No. And they were saying that it was real fusel and all that at seven at seven years old, and I'm not getting that at all with no. this. So there, it's got to be that either, but you don't know what what cellaring conditions too. The person had that bottling. Mm-hmm. It could have been a heat, you know, you know, rise and drop, rise and drop. Yep. And this, like I said, when you got all that surface area in the keg, that's optimal. Yeah. But great beer. If you guys can ever find something like this, if you know on keg that's been uh, you know cellared for a number of years, not many stores will hold on to stuff like that. But where Fishball's got this, I don't know, but it's awesome that they did. Yeah. Where would they have gotten it? They got it from a distributor mm. who had it, and they've had it. They've had kegs what uh, three years now, Growlers. And they've had it ever since because they knew they were playing on this on their big 12 tap tap station. So they've they've saved this in their refrigerator box the whole entire time. Hmm. So I mean to hold on to inventory for a store that long that's pretty pretty damn mm-hmm. cool. So, anyways, guys, thanks a million for watching. We're back for another year of more insanity and videos because we need to self medicate. You know that because when you're married, guys, shake your head yes, guys. When you're married. You need to self-medicate. And remember, you have to avoid three things that get in the way of your drinking. What are those three things, Johnny? Kids. Pets. And, and pussy, pussy politics. politics. That's right. And beware of that last one because it's very dangerous, pussy politics. So, <sighs> See, that's a 2015 oh. selfie. Oh, we're, we got to do a selfie here. Hey, Fleet. That's right. Fleet didn't join us today. But we didn't have to pronounce any French, so we didn't need to put on some cater. So, remember, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement, especially for beers like this. All oh, the heaters coming on, so we got to really hurry up. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, because that, along with beer, puts our happy face on. So, to the next And if you <laughs> have anything else like this, send it our way. We'll because be happy to sample it and review it for you. No doubt. I'd say best beer of the night. This well, one. I don't know. The and the Grand, Sticky the, Monkey. The Grand Crew. Oh, God, don't remind me of that. Oh, wait. Not the Grand Crew, dude. That no. was a bad one? That wasn't the best. <laughs> don't, don't remember the rest, except for that one. I don't want to remember them. <laughs> so that's DJ's Brew Tube. Thanks for watching. Peace out.